Hello, my name is Michael Kramer and today I want to update you on American Diagnostica's series of products for lipid research. A major point of my presentation will be some new uh, literature on the role of pre-beta high-density lipoprotein in coronary heart disease and before I start with this specific information I provide here an overview on American Diagnostica's Sekisoy's range of products for lipid research. Basically we have available six ELISAs which, which allow to quantify relevant elements of uh, the lipid metabolism like pre-beta-1 high-density lipoprotein, cholesterol ester transfer protein, lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase, lipoprotein lipase and another molecule with a rather weird name LDL receptor relative with 11 ligand binding repeats known as LR11, SORLA or SORL1 and also for um, an ELISA for oxidized low density lipoprotein which is called malone d aldehyde modified low density lipoprotein MDA LDL or OxLDL. I want to briefly highlight some recent publications on pre-beta-1 high-density lipoprotein and there is one publication by Goy et al. in the American Journal of Cardiology in 2011 uh, entitled Relation of Increased Pre-beta-1 High-Density Lipoprotein Levels to Risk of Coronary Heart Disease. The authors summarized their study by saying that this is the first study in which pre-beta HDL was identified as a novel an independent predictor above and beyond traditional coronary heart disease risk factors. The second publication is by Schaefer and colleagues entitled Marked HDL Deficiency and Premature Coronary Heart Disease. It is a review article. In this article they summarize the different forms of HDL deficiencies and they summarize that there are great differences in the clinical phenotype depending on the underlying defect which leads to HDL deficiency. The third publication is by CT and colleagues in Clinical Chemistry 2010 entitled High Pre-Beta-1 HDL concentrations and low lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase activities are strong positive risk markers for ischemic heart disease and independ independent of HDL cholesterol. They summarized that ischemic heart disease was associated with high preta 1 HDL concentrations and low LCAT levels, which yielded correct classification in more than 90% of ischemic heart disease cases for which both were measured. This makes the measurement of pre beta 1 HDL concentration together with LCAT activity level a potentially useful diagnostic marker for cardiovascular disease. The fourth publication is by Pan and colleagues, 2011. The authors analyzed diabetic patients and they studied the effect of niacin on pre beta 1 high density lipoprotein levels in such patients. And they conclude that diabetes is associated with significantly reduced levels of pre beta 1 HDL and that after niacin treatment, a further lowering of pre beta 1 HDL levels occur. And they suggest that different mechanisms may be responsible for this effect. Again here the overview on American Diagnostica Sekisuis ELISA products for lipid research. For each of these products we have available a kind of fact sheet which describes the background for the assay, the indication and a data sheet which describes the specific ELISA. If you want to order the product on the shipping information. This information is available from American Diagnostica either via telephone in Germany, email to addresses. If you have more questions or need more info you may also contact Andrea Perlick, sales manager EMEA under a.perlick at mdiac.de and also more marketing material for the products is available at our distributor website adg-distributors and product information and data sheets are also available at our public website americandiagnostica.de. Thank you very much for your attention.